And we begin tonight with a terrifying attack inside a Gwinnett County store. Tonight, police are searching for two men accused of ambushing an unsuspecting shopper. Investigators say the men threw a blanket over the woman's head to confuse her, then tried to grab her. Uh, Fox Eyes George Franco is live in Stone Mountain tonight. And George, you spoke to the victim. Well, Russ and Marissa, the victim told me that she was attacked and surprised inside the Ross store behind me here in Stone Mountain by two men who threw a heavy yellow blanket over her head as sort of a weapon. Now, Gwinnett County Police are trying to find these attackers and also understand why. I walked into Ross, was doing some shopping, was in a lady section. What was supposed to be a quick afternoon shopping trip to this Ross store in Stone Mountain instead took a turn to the bizarre and dangerous for Dina Bingham. And out of nowhere, I feel this blanket over my head and something pulling, and I just fought it off. And by the time I looked around, I saw two men and they started running. Gwinnett police suspect it was these two men who surprised and assaulted Ms. Bingham. One is carrying the yellow blanket tossed over her head. But why? I heard all kinds of theories from different people. What, one person told me it was some could be a game. Another one said it could have been a, a, uh, a gang initiation gone wrong. Police say it's unclear if the two men followed Ms. Bingham into the store or if she was chosen randomly. If they were in there to commit a further crime of a higher and aggravated nature of kidnapping or robbery or what. I mean, uh, those are some questions that we'd like to get answers to. Dina Bingham is now walking a little slower with a brace on her ankle. My neck was just sort of stuck. And she also says she's working with her doctor for a neck injury, making matters more difficult. According to the police report, the assistant manager refused to show police video footage of the May incident because she was too busy checking out customers. She said she had footage that the cameras were working in the area where I was assaulted, but she refused to get it. Now Dina Bingham hopes these two are caught before someone else is surprised. So I hope they find whoever did it so no one else gets injured, no one else has to go through this.